Welcome to Jimbo's Barbecue Hacienda. Simple crowd pleasing recipes for your grill. I'm Jim Haas. Thanks once again for hanging out. Today we're going to do a kind of video in pictures, if you will. This is going to be a slightly new version of my 321 smoked baby back ribs. Let's get into it. Right. what you're going to want to do is of course get yourself some baby back rib racks unpackage them take a paper towel and pat dry if you flip them over so the bone side is up you're going to want to peel off the thin membrane that might be on that back side uh, usually you could take a knife and peel up a corner and get that started that way sometimes the membrane is so thin you can't peel it off so just don't even worry about it and sometimes the butcher will actually take the membrane off for you which is really nice at that point, you want to score the bone side with a knife in a crisscross pattern, and we are ready for seasoning. Now with some olive oil, you want to cover all sides of the rib rack, and then with a dry rub of choice, I've been using Kinder's The Blend a lot lately. It's just real simple, salt, pepper, garlic, it kind of just works for everything. Uh, what you want to do is season one side, let it sit for at least 20 minutes so the meat starts to sweat and really absorb the seasoning. Uh, and then flip it over, do the same thing on the other side. What I did in this case, I started this the night before, seasoned everything up, wrapped them in foil, put them in the fridge overnight. And if you have the time, that's really the way to go. Time to fire up the smoker. Now this recipe can apply to any style of smoker, no matter what the heat source is. I prefer charcoal. Today I'm using a Blaze Kamado grill and let's get it dialed in. I'm using apple wood chunks along with my lump charcoal today. What you want to do uh, once you get everything fired up is dial it in at around 230 to 240 degrees Fahrenheit. During the preheating phase, pull your rib racks out of the fridge. You want to bring them up to room temp or at least closer to it. Um, at that point, take your pre-seasoned rib racks, put them on the grill bone side down, close the lid, set your timer for three hours. At the three hour mark, carefully remove your rib racks from the grill, place them on some aluminum foil. This is where this got a little experimental, but it ended up working out really well. Uh, I, I spritzed them with some beer. I used a lager yesterday. Now, usually I use uh, apple juice or root beer, which also works really well. I just didn't have any of that on me. And then I drizzled some honey over the tops of the rib racks and then brown sugar, just kind of cover the top surface with brown sugar and then butter. Wrap them up in the foil completely, put them back on the grill, lid down once again, set your timer for two hours. Can you believe it? We're already at the five hour mark on this slow smoke. So now what you want to do very carefully, take those wrapped ribs off of the grill. There's going to be liquid in that foil. So very carefully unwrap your ribs. Uh, be very cautious. The liquid's going to be hot. At this point, you want to baste the tops of the rib racks with barbecue sauce. Any barbecue sauce will do. What I like to do in addition is mix in some yellow mustard. It gives it a little extra zing. I really like that. Baste the tops, put them back on the grill, unwrapped, still bone side down. Close the lid, set your timer for one hour. We're so close, I can't even believe it. What I like to do at this point also is bump that heat up ever so slightly to about 250 degrees Fahrenheit. Let it roll, we'll see you in an hour. I know that last hour is always the longest, right? <laughs> These things have been smoking now for a total of six hours. Your yard should be smelling amazing. And here we are, you know we're done. Uh, the bones will start poking out like this. You can see about a half inch, they'll start pulling away from the meat. At this point, you pull them off. What I do is put them in a foil pan, cover them over with foil, let them rest for about 10 to 15 minutes, and you should be good to go. So there you have it, 321 rib recipe for your smoker. I actually did a video on this um, early on. It was one of my first videos and it was a bit long-winded and disjointed. And so that's the reason I kind of wanted to redo it and get it out there. And I thought, well, I'm going through all this effort and time. I might as well take a bunch of pictures and at least do it in this format. Um, but I will say that this last segment I wish I would have videoed it as opposed to just taking the pictures because these ribs, before I sliced them up, 
uh, every bone in these racks pulled out effortlessly. I mean, they fell right off the bone. It was unbelievable. But there you have it. We really enjoyed this one. Uh, hope you got something out of this. Hope you enjoyed this. Thanks once again for your time and hanging out and checking out these, uh, these videos I'm doing. I'm really enjoying myself doing this. Um, life's short. Eat well and enjoy yourselves and listen to good music. Jimbo's Barbecue Hacienda. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>